Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Council of Reads here at the comic shop in Liverpool. I'm Dylan, here with Jason. G'day. Nitin. What's up? Fommy. Hey, hey. And Dave. On YouTube, brought to you by Wayne Tech, high-tech, state-of-the-art cameras that capture people's faces. If the product's on the top shelf. Yeah. This would have been fine last week when we were talking about Flash. Yeah, what is the I, relevance? I, what the fuck are you doing? It's a continuation no, of last week's one. We're not going to talk about it. But we're not talking about Flash. Such a tool. You could have just done that last week. Don't extend it. It was just a comment. <laughs> Our featured comics this week are Incredible Hulk, Issue 1. Yeah! Is that right? Not bad. <laughs> and uh, Ultimate Invasion, Issue 1. Best hits you've seen in a while? Mm, slightly better than Hulk, maybe. <laughs> slightly? Yeah, that was better than Hulk. Oh, sorry, Ben Hulk. Sorry, I thought you said for Jesus. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White pages. Mm. Okay, uh, Dave's going to talk about some Magic Gathering stuff. Just mm. one card. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, we got a <laughs> we got a trailer for Craven the Hunter. Why? And we are craving more, aren't we, boys? I know why. <laughs> <sighs> oh boy. I'm going to bring back an old Russell Crowe thing and maybe put a. <laughs> All right. Um, episode one of Secret Invasion. Amazing. Holy shit. Um, and death. Fummy. Yeah. You're feeling flashback. Yeah. Very, very fitting, right? Dead same straight. same week as Secret Invasion. Yes. And everything else going on. They live, and uh, one of the best wrestling acting performances you'll ever see in your life. Mm. Yeah, I was not expecting. I was not ready for that. Yeah. Just, mi- just missing a kilt. Anyway, we'll get to that. Okay. Hulk. Comic book time. Yeah. All right. Philip Kennedy Johnson, Nick Klein. Um, new Incredible Hulk. Um, back to the horror vein of Immortal. Uh, definitely follows on a little bit from there. There's mm. some references to the Green Door and whatnot. Um, this was pretty good, actually. This is very good. Uh, the art. Uh, I think this is the best Nick Klein I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Cause it's so dark. Mm. Uh, I love a Hulk with long hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm always a sucker for a Hulk with long hair. Look at mm-hmm. that. It just makes him look that much more. That savage. is very Dale Keown Hulk. Yeah, very much so. Uh, um, second yeah. best Hulk transformation I think I've seen. I think this, the 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 one is still immortal, but the uh, there's a, a center panel which is quite uh, grotesque, which is excellent. Uh, other shout out for this with the art. Nick Klein's just kidding out the park, but the, uh, the yeah, I saw that humans that break out mm. into the certain creatures, mm. but you've still got the human face on the side of the creature's skull, like where it, it uh, it's so damn good. Um, kudos, Nitten mentioned it before the pod when we we're talking about it a little bit. Like, yes, uh, it's it, the green door gets mentioned essentially straight away, but so does Kate's run. It, it, get, yeah. they, they, it gets talked about a bit, so. You know, there's nothing forgotten about, which is good. Um, I'm really, really intrigued where this is going to go. Essentially, the green door is now shut and it is the age of monsters and, you know, shit's about to get crazy. But I think the the, the, the craziness for me is the Banner vs. Hulk mm. and how out there Hulk seems to be going. Like, you see that um, when Banner's trying to order some food and then runs away... And then the next shot is the dog barking and you just see that diner demolished. It's like, well, Hulk normally doesn't kill and it looks like kind of in the situation. He And from a, what a few of the speech bubbles are, he doesn't give a shit. He's killing again. He's killing. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Because he was locked up, right? Like, yeah. That's the whole point. Like, it's like a kid tantrum. Mm-hmm. So, like, ah, I'm not going back. I'm not going to nap. No yeah. nap. And no nap. And when he tantrums, poof. This side is awesome. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think... Sort of just jump off the Hulk after the case one, just because I didn't want another horror Hulk. Yeah, that was my but plan. This is really good. Yeah, it is really That's why I didn't buy it. But everything about it. what they've done with the the Age of Monsters and oh. now that Hulks can be killed again, the, the, the monsters have a chance. Mm. I just think that's brilliant. It's a, and, and the the grotesqueness of the way these things are transforming. Yeah, how can you not? And the tease of other Marvel monsters like Ooh. Man Thing and Ghost Rider. Mm. What's the other one? Uh, the Morlock. Yes, yes, yes. Not, yes. not Mormon, but um, not Morlock. Morlock, yeah. yeah. More, more people. So you're like, ooh, he's going to tap into Like, they're, they're, other wh- whatever the, I can't remember what the, the villains are called, but they're like, you're no longer emboldened to your pre- old, older masters. Yes. So that, that was pretty cool. Mm. There's a lot of cool things being yep. built in, a, in 22 pages. Here. Hulk's got a new uh, runaway friend. Yeah. The looks of it, yeah. which is all interesting. That was very interesting. I like that. Yeah. A lot. Betty. Yes. 
Yes, Betty. yes. Didn't that sort of for come someone that hasn't read it yet, that's all I'll say. Yeah. yeah. Like, Whoa, hello. Yeah, mm. did not expect that. Yeah. Yeah. Betty. <laughs> very, very good. Betty. All right, Ultimate Invasion. Hickman is back. This time with uh, the Ultimates original artist, Brian Hitch, uh, who we usually talk shit about, but this looked pretty good. Not this time. Um, I really like this. It's just very Hickman-y. Lots of, it's Reed Richards' main character. Like, he's the, like the maker, for people who don't know, in the Ultimate Universe, Dad and Ultimate FF, and they were just younger versions, and nobody... Like, there was like Hales, Miller, and Benders, and Ellis did some cool stuff, but nobody cared. Um, and then Hickman made him the maker and just turned him into a bad guy. The number one bad guy of the Ultimate Universe, basically. So you got a bit, bad... bit of a Doctor Doom thing going on, mm-hmm. right? You've got bad Reed Richards. Yeah. So you got the smartest man in the world, and he's an evil, so... And, like, man, he... So, gets people to break him out of jail. But that, that breakout yeah. and then the subsequent reason why he needed those certain people yes. to break him out was phenomenal. Yes. Um Is that a, like a black hole grenade? Yes. <sighs> That's so cool. So essentially So he was locked up in six one six. They need some headphones. No, no, okay, okay. And subsequently, as what Jay just said, and goes on a tear collecting things Mm. Mm. to a bigger build, Um, goes and visits Miles. (laughs) Yeah, that bit was great. All in shirt. That was great. Just thought, you know, you'd do the same for me, so I'll do that for you if you want. You want to come home? Want to come home? Holy shit. Because I'm going home. I will say, if you loved Hickman's New Avengers, highly recommend this. Didn't it's Illuminati heavy? Very Illuminati. Didn't the heavy. Ultimate Universe cease to be? Yeah. Yes, he's not quite going home. Okay. Oh, he's going. He's making himself a home. <laughs> Spoilers. So he's he's coming to. No. No, no. Dave Fingers isn't easy if you don't. Want... Yeah. If you want, he's don't. doing the Beyonder shit or what? No, no, he's just he's... found a an Earth without stuff happened yet. I think so. He's going to like uh, at the end of the back issue. Back <laughs> issue, so he goes and stops the spider from biting at Peter Parker. Okay, wouldn't want you to have too much responsibility. Yeah, oh, and the, yeah, the lines are fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. Oh. So Rip. he's just setting himself up to be the the ruler of the yeah. most powerful thing in this Earth. Because he's going to stop everything else yeah. from happening. He's, okay. he's going to make... He's the maker. He's going to make his home. <laughs> I just saw... Yeah, like, the lies are awesome. Like, when he turns around after they've, like... Yeah. yeah. Broken... Like, that. Yeah. Yeah. So good, man. And, like, Reed... Uh, the, Reed's Reed's line. shitting himself, man. Like... Wait, wait, so... Yes. Maker and Reed are separate? Yeah, yeah it's like ultimate proper yeah, it's ultimate. So it's ultimate. Ma- it's ultimate. Reed is the maker. Yeah. Is the maker that was in yeah, the yeah, old yeah, yeah. Donny Cates Venom, and he so he was in six one six and going through. They locked him up. They had him locked up. Okay. But then he escaped because he wants to go home, and if he can't go home because he's been destroyed, he's going to make his home. So you see six one six Reed in this. You yeah, see six one six. It's in six one six. So it's Illuminati. It's proper. It's Reed with the Illuminati oh, okay, and okay. everything. All right. Now, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. And yeah, like, he's getting... And if stuff. no one at home has this yet, just go back about a minute and a half and listen to it again. Because he's going and collecting stuff, one thing each from the Illuminati, basically. Yeah. And, and just teasing them. And things them. they know they would be missing. And it's like, Reed, you know what he's building, don't you? He's like, yeah, I know what he's building. Like, that is some really good heat job. It is. <laughs> it really it is. awesome. It sh- that's, yeah. what, that's what I said to Jay before the pot. It shows why Venom's been so shit. Mm. Because he's been what, doing this and then completely finished Venom. Like now, Kafu's doing a good job, and it's still the same. But I feel that oh, the coloring is coloring. better because, like, you see, he's back of the book's got his pencil pages, and they look fantastic. They look really good. You know, he's just very nice, classic style. It's the coloring that really there is hurts. Depth him. to this instead of just being flat. Yes. Jack Bond, yes. that's exactly what. But there are some pages that are still oh, not know, great, it's hitchy, but you can tell it. <laughs> it's hitchy coloring. But yeah, I, uh, Hickman White Pages are back. Yeah. Beautiful to see. How many? I was like, one, one or two. two? That's, That's it. Good. That's good. Um, That's good. Because it's all overload. It's a, book, it's a right. big book. Um, but it's but a fast read too, like in a good way. Yes, right? it, just... it's, it's action-packed Ooh. because 
he is on the run and you are just following the trail of what he's doing and essentially the 616 just trying to catch up with him mm-hmm. and, and like figure out yeah it's excellent I yeah, if this hadn't come out book of the week easy and really hard with Tenement too it's, yeah, 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 yeah it's books um, are fantastic. a bit of a split and then yeah the yeah that oh. version of him when they find him is it really mm-hmm. me let's, have, let's go have a look if this is really oh, me man, still sitting there so and Reed basically admits that he would kill him if he could. Yeah, that was just before he like disappears. Like, oh, okay, that's that's what you're going to leave him on. Excellent. He's not going to be stewing on that at all. Because no, he's like, good to know. Yeah, off I go. Would you stop me? Yeah, yes, I would. Good to know. Fuck's up. So good. Ah, oh, oh, Hickman. What can't he write? Uh, all right, next up, Bone Orchard Mythos, the uh, Lemire and Sorrentino uh, horror anthology. Oh, not anthology, but like groups of books. This one, Tenement. Fantastic, Sorrentino man. Fantastic. Just the 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 the, the setup of the pages, yep. the paneling, the way it's all like I I was reading it incorrectly at one point because that, that, big, double? that big double because I wasn't reading down. Yeah. I was reading across. Oh, hang on a minute. So it is, it is excellent. You just the gloss. I was reading to him. Please, thanks. Yeah, go it. please. It's like the the atmosphere in his book is very good. It's like the. Yeah. It's it's boredom, but it's also dread. Yep. And the banality of just inevitability. Bit because yeah, it's building. the least creepiest. Yes. Of these, but maybe the most at the same time. Yes. Did you read the little spiel at the back? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. Because it's just definitely. seven people that live in an apartment complex, basically, and they're intersecting lives and how they entwine yeah. and uh... <clears throat> and like all oh, shit lives. Mm. And not going to get any better anytime soon, I don't think, without whatever's going to happen in this. But very good. Yeah, if you enjoy 10,000 Blackfellas, um, it's um, in that whole... The way she, she, they talked about it, it was like, they're not... There is an overarching link, but, you know, it's not nowhere near directly connected. Um, but, yeah, I'm in from the first issue, mm-hmm. I'll be honest. I think this one grabbed me even more than, say, Black. Man, this first issue. And that did, like, you're like, oh, that was cool with the mm. rider and the girls. But this, you're like, nothing happens. Mm. But so much But it's happens. amazing, yeah. yeah. But so, well, so much gets opened up. Yeah. And then, yeah, like, yeah, like when you realise it's Felix is the the, yes. the boxes and stuff like that of the, the speech throughout the comic. Yeah, it's very interesting. And, like, introduce seven characters and you sort of care about all of them pretty mm. much in mm-hmm. one issue. Like, man, that's not easy to do. Yeah, they did it well. Did it very well. And some of them are not that likeable to begin with, right? But Definitely yeah. not. Especially the drug dealer. Mm. Yeah. Don't, like, as soon as he gets home, you're like, oh. Mm. oh life's pretty shit for him, too. Yep. Uh, next up, Avengers issue two. Uh, McKay and who's on art on this? Villa. Villa. Uh, much better than issue one? Very much so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like, issue one wasn't bad. It was just that heavy setup. Mm. Less Black know? Panther to Captain Marvel in it. I've yes. a couple okay. of times, but not much. Only when it made sense where they're not in the same yeah. vicinity. Jackpot. Mm. You're like, cool, cool. They should talk if one's in goddamn. Florida and the other one's in like, New York or whatever. Did you read this, Dave? No. Kang. Oh. Did you not see the end of the last issue? I think I did. Yeah. yeah. Kang. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Who is it? Um, um, yes. Yeah, I. The art was a lot better in this too. I feel. Yeah. Um, I think it was also better because it just wasn't all Captain Marvel centered as yeah, well. Yeah, that yeah, probably yeah. helped it. But yeah, the. Oh yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Kang's come back and. Wants to help because he's been hunted, hunted and beaten by so, yeah, a group the, the, of the timeless 2022 one shot. Yes, so yes. That, you read that? Yep. This it leads into this. So he's there dying from the last from that one shot, yeah. and so he sort of makes a deal with Captain Marvel to help him. Hmm. Well, help. not even just it's it's just out of spite. It's just oh, so yeah. the other guy doesn't yeah, get yeah, the yeah. prize. He doesn't like, really give a shit. He's like, but if I can't have it, yeah, I'll, like, I'll, I'll a, do whatever it takes so he doesn't. You can save a thousand people in a day. He's like, why well, is this a bribe? You basically, this is a bribe. He even says me. it. I yeah. love it. Yeah, that was great. So good. So good. And I, but I think they used them all pretty good. Mm-hmm. And I got some cool stuff like the cap. I really like the cap. Oh, the cap was great. Oh, with the truck? Yeah, yeah that was excellent, excellent, man. That's a little cap. bit of... That, that was, is Captain America. I saw some of that. Yeah. It was Cap, but it was also bloody Jed McKay. Just yeah. good, wholesome writing in a crazy over-the-top Avengers book. Yeah. yeah. It was so good. Ooh. Just using them to their... All their, ben- their, their best skills. It's very good. Definitely. Definitely. 
very good. Todd Knuck on Magneto. Yeah, we're going to get to that, but okay. Right. Was that? Todd Knuck on Magneto oh, yeah. story yeah. series coming out. It looks amazing. Yeah. Uh, all right, next up, Titans issue two. Uh, Tom Taylor, Nicholas Scott, Aussie superstar pair. Um, Titans, much better than issue one. Yes. yes. Much better yes. than issue one. The Wally thing is interesting. Yeah, so, yes. so yeah. spoilers for issue one. At the end, yes, the Wally has been shot, oh, that's right. and they, uh, you know, that's the ending of the first, uh, uh, in the first issue. And in this issue, you find out that Wally's still alive. Mm. This is the Wally from that's the, the future who's Did come he back to make the phone call yeah. to Linda. Yeah, no, that was fast. Linda yeah. didn't answer. Wally yeah. rocks up. <laughs> so yeah, the Wally is the Wally from the future who got shot, who came back into the past to sort of so- stop himself getting murdered. Yeah. And that was great. Yeah. It's so trippy. Yeah. yeah. So glad you're not dead in a pool of blood. Me too. Oh, that was all cool with the brother blood stuff. Oh, like, the brother the, blood the, stuff the, the flashback in the beginning. Yes. The, when they were still it young is, Teen yes, Titans yes. going to take down brother blood. Mm. Uh, they get League to the League. church. Justice League's already taken down. It's like, there should be a rule against going out. He's our, he's our nemesis. They shouldn't be allowed to ta- uh, you know, <laughs> take down our nemesis. That was great. The whole new brother blood was great. Oh, yeah, yeah, His yeah. Whole... He's... Yeah, we're not uh, brother blood anymore. Scam. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, like, who, who he's created, got on his side. You're like, stuff. oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic issue, mm, actually. Mm, great, good, great book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure about the first issue, but mm. this, yeah, I think I'm on board. I think Avengers in this, uh, very similar sort of thing. Very, oh. okay. Team books, you get that sometimes, right? You know, the first issue don't quite grow because there's a lot to explain and introduce. But, yeah, that was fantastic. Because it felt like Teen Titans. Mm. The first one didn't. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It was just, ah, oh, it was Teen Ty- Titans characters trying to talk to each other. But this was, yeah, so good. So good. Uh, next up, Guardians of the Galaxy, issue three. Lindsay Kelly and Walker on art. Best issue yet. Okay. Mm. Best issue yet. All right, so uh, Quill has to go to uh, Sparta, in his home, his dad's planet stuff, Sparta, Spartax. Uh, so he's got to go on some hunt. Because his sister's the queen or emperor or whatever they called. Uh, so he's invited to some ritual hunt bullshit. So he brings Drax along. And like, they're all dicks to him. Mm-hmm. The people doing the hunt. You know, because he's earth blood and wah rah, rah and Drax just wants to stab him already. And like, where the hunting field shouldn't have life forms because the Groot Fall had already come. Right. But <clears throat> Quill's like, let me talk to him. And they're like, no, no. We'll we hit kill whatever so Drax starts attacking them while Quill goes and it's Groot and he gets inside and Groot's talking to him and like obviously there's a bit of Groot still alive um, oh wow yeah that's some cool that was uh, excellent um, but yeah it was oh wow there's some cool action and, and some screen. dark stuff that's really cool um, oh, that is pretty sick. The, the, the bad guys just blow up the the Groot Fall planet, anyway. Oh, wow. Uh, but, like, obviously, Groot Fall's, like, some kind of... Co- Groot's a conscious. Of course, yeah, the, like the Venom kind of thing. All the planets that it's, it's yep. obviously taken over and stuff. Um, but, yeah, Quill, not happy with his own people and his actions at the end are quite cool. And Yeah, a bit bleak, but also at the same time, like, ooh, you can see there's an opening to bring Groot back or whatever. Um, but yeah, it was cool. Because the other issues weren't that great. This was yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, Kevin, because that looks pretty good on this. Yeah, he fits certain books. Sometimes I'm like, eh. Sometimes it works. But uh, this is good. All right, Dylan, Superman number five. Okay, last we left off in Superman, we found out that Jimmy Olsen oh, is dating uh, yeah. uh, uh, Silver Banshee. And at the beginning of this yeah. issue, we get a flashback to how Jimmy and uh, Siobhan met. And started dating, and how Name she, Siobhan, nice. yeah, and how um, uh, she told him uh, who she was, and how he was like, "Oh, maybe I should tell you about that time I turned into a giant turtle, a giant porcupine, and all that crazy shit." And um, after that, um, we get some more Superman and Lex working together. I'm loving. Um, and there's like a big fight with Silver Banshee and uh, uh, Clark is expecting Lex to be like, hey, you just need to put her down and, you know, who gives a shit? But Lex is like, okay, you need to uh, uh, 
kind of deactivate the crazy power shit that the bad guys have done <laughs> to Banshee without hurting her. And then that kind of gets Clark like, mm. hey, hey, maybe, yeah, maybe Lex is not completely beyond salvation. So they do that together. Um, and during the fight, Banshee's screams kind of short out Clark's uh, super hearing. Sure. So afterwards he realizes he doesn't have his super hearing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes to Super Corp and Super Corp's like, okay, yeah, just keep coming back for checkups. Like, it should come back by itself. Um, it means I just take it easy. So Lex doesn't know this. So he's still talking yep. to Superman as if yep. he can listen. And there's even a moment where he's like, you know, maybe I should have started working with you earlier. Maybe oh. maybe even back in Smallville when you know yeah, we were going yeah, to high yeah. school, maybe a lot of things could have been different. different. And spoilers, mm. that's right before he gets prison shanked and left in a pool of his own blood. Save me, Superman. Yes. Who's the um, bl- red person having the conversation with Superman? Oh, yeah. um, that's uh, the two new villains mm. of this series. Interesting. Uh, Doc- Dr. Farm yeah. is one of them. And I can't remember the other one's name, but they're both r- really cool looking. Of super gene, evil genius, yes, like yes. Super so, uh, what we know about them, they're two people that Lex has fucked over somehow. We don't really know the details. His version of the story is that they were evil scientists, and when he first came to Metropolis, he followed their plans because he was trying to be a superhero. But that's probably not true, I'd say, <laughs> um, because it is Lex Luthor. Um, I'm loving this series at the moment. Um, because you know they're they're taking away some of Superman's powers instead of giving him more, like what's happened recently in other yep. Superman titles, like Seven Supermen on a on a team. That and also you know the ability to trans- transcend space, oh, time, right. and right. fucking yeah. all that shit. Yeah, it could be a super bomb or whatever. Yeah. Uh... Yep. Yeah. I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. Yeah, that's why. I... I was like, I'm stopping, I'm going to trade it up. I'm When's that going to come out? Yeah, it's right. But then I'll forget where we're up to. And, uh, when it comes out. But yeah, yeah. It's, I, it's very good Superman. Yeah, I highly recommend this. Perfect uh, jumping on point. Mm. Nice. Excellent. All right, next up. Don't catch Ghost Rider, issue two. Uh, Howard Mackey and our mate Dan, local artist. Uh, excellent. Uh... I think the book looked better than, even better than issue one. And issue one looked oh, good, good, but I think it looked better. The color yeah. looked, oh man, I think, yeah, they're getting their vibe together. It's really good. Um, it's just one of those flashback books. That's Danny Catch era Ghost Riders, yeah. Early 90s sort of era. Um, the Caretaker and all that sort of stuff. And like the villains, like the new villain, the Broker, uh, Powers Up, uh, Blackout, one of Ghost Riders villains from back in the day and then they break out scarecrow from ravencroft one of his other villains so very ghostwriter heavy like if you like the old stuff jump on this book if you you know we're a bit um Ooh, nice. lost interest in the treatment of danny catch in modern times and some of them has been good but just as they do something then that book gets cancelled and, and start again sort of thing this is just old school flashback stuff but fantastic which is very Ghost rider Very cool. I like it a lot. Did you see the ad for the Todd Knock Magneto? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, shit. Ooh. Pretty cool. Cool. Pretty cool. Well, it's just interesting... Well, we're talking about Magneto. Um, it's just interesting time setting. It's when he was headmaster of the school. Oh, what an amazing time for Todd Knock to draw something. Yeah. It just worked perfectly. Yep. Drawing teenagers? Yeah. That's what he does best. Zachary's. In the Mortal Man 800, he drew a Cassie story. Ah, cool. Yeah, that's great. Oh. Oh, might have to look at that. All right, next up, uh, Mr. Nitton, stop reading comics. I think this is you. <laughs> Nightwing 105. Yeah. Very interesting issue, right? Yeah, it oh, was we... a, the first person issue. Ooh. So the whole, all the art is in first person from Nightwing's point of view. Oh. And you only see, like, him in reflections. That's hardcore, hardcore Henry? Yeah. yeah. Um... And I think the book, the story's all right. It's just like, and all the ads are at the end of the book. That's a cool cover. Yeah. So instead of in, interposed throughout the story, they're all, you know, at, at the end of the book. And the art, yeah. The art is great. 
stories, basically. Like, yeah. he gets a call, you know, um, something's been stolen, go fight them, and there's a little, little twist. I only brought, like, put it in the pile just because the art and yes. the, wow. the storytelling version of it, like, yes. through um, first-person view. What? The, and it's done very well. Too. It's incredible. Yeah. They've done a few different things on this run, right? Like yeah. the artist guy is definitely pushing himself, mm, yeah. or Tom Taylor's pushing him to do do a bit different yeah. stuff, and it, it's working. Yeah, and he's like, he doesn't have a speech. Well, his speech is like a floating bubble. Okay, yeah. and it's yeah. blue, so yeah, you so can so tell yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, it's yeah, coming yeah, from yeah, him. So yeah, yeah him cool, and um, cool, cool, cool. him and Batgirl doing like an adventure, and it's cool. The art is yeah, it's all. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, man. yeah. I was just, I was made, just brought it up just so. Yeah, yeah. Right, that. Yeah, bloody oath, perspective, man, perspective of the book. It's really good. This. This like the story, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the, oh, oh, it's a one and done. Yeah, yeah. Adventure book, right? Yeah, sort of. It's how you should have these. Yeah, things. and I'm trying to look, Dave. I'm looking. I think it, a little bit will continue on, but yeah, it's such a cool idea. I might buy that issue so, because yeah, it, I was so tempted. Yes, I think I have to. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, that is very really, cool. That, even that that second last panel when he's just got the stick in his hand and flying the um, grappling hook up. That's so damn cool. Yeah. Very good, very good. All right, Bobby, Venom twenty-one. Yeah. So you win Kafu. Yeah. Um, can I just have that for one second? Yes. I just need to tell everyone what this issue is called. Pages two to nineteen, they fight. <laughs> What? Seriously, that's that's just what you wrote in the script. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Do they actually fight in pages? That two is exactly 19, what though? happens in okay. pages two to nineteen. So, I like it. I like it. in that's the awesome. last issue, Eddie came back from a bunch of bones and nothingness to become like a human symbiote. He was a T one thousand, essentially. Yeah. Yes. So now he's going to fight. So he's back in, but he's kind of like an extra. So like Bedlam still exists, but Bedlam is kind of just like a mindless husk. Because Eddie's not actually in there. Does that make sense? But he still thinks he's in there because he's a mindless. Anyway, so Eddie has a, uh, how can I put it? A fight between pages 2 to 19 in this. But there is this really cool bit that Kafu does really well where instead of like webbing coming out because he's a human symbiote, it's Eddie's nerve endings. Ooh. That's cool, right? And Fucked it up. goes into the head Ooh. of... So, essentially, he's letting Bedlam know that you are nothing. And he realize, as he's realising that, like, he's inside his head. And that then... Cool really cool that page cool. where it's essentially, like, Mortal Kombat, like, Eddie versus young Eddie as Venom and stuff. So, that was quite cool. But then he's like, you are nothing. He just tears him apart. And then comes back and says, we can be us, but I'm in charge. So, by the end of the book... Oh. We get that. Oh, okay. Does he have a name? Eddie Brock. Okay. <laughs> I, it was. See, the problem is he wasn't given a lot to work with because that's what he kind of someone else made him look like. <laughs> so that's kind of just what we ended up getting. Um, so it, this version of Eddie now has four arms, and he's going out to take on Meridius, I guess, and the rest of it. But. The story is starting to take a bit more shape, but the dialogue in it is gross. Like, the fight with Bedlam, the bikers that were there. Like, there's a couple of cool bits where he shoots him in the in the chest with the shotgun, and Bedlam gets this giant jaw chest that eats him and spits him back out. And they're like, anyone want some gum? I'm like, oh, come on, man. Like, <laughs> you can do better than that. Like, you, mean, you wrote Immortal Hole, for Christ's sake. Like, anyway. You know what I haven't understood about the whole Bedlam and yeah, this <clears throat> new... Version of Why are we dragging on so long? Why is he red? Oh, because it's, it's Rage Incarnate. No, but when the other number one symbiote is a red one. Yeah, I know. Like, I know they've had every colour symbiote on the sun, yeah. but nobody cares about yeah. anything but yeah. Venom and Carnage, really. Yeah. So you pick the, the, the colour of his sun, like, make him a green one. Toxin was red as well, wasn't he? Red he and was black. red, and, yeah. He's like because it was the yeah. Yeah, mix. Is he a green one? Green is, um, was it Straw? No, it's um, it Lasher. Lasher. Green? Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, that's. Yeah. It's the two that everybody knows. Mm. You see, and you're just like, why is there another red symbiote that's not Carnage? Especially when they're doing heaps of shit with Carnage. So much shit with I Carnage. I don't understand. I don't understand. Speak of the devil? Yes. Uh, Miles Morales, issue seven. So this is like part five or seven of the Carnage thing at the moment. It's not a lot happens except Miles gets, like, almost killed. And so he gets. Iron Man shows up and he gets his own Iron Spider suit. It's like, okay, cool. 
coming to Marvel Legends next year. <laughs> That's why I brought it up. Because, yeah, look, the suit looks cool, but, yeah, like, he was about to die. He gets his lung pump. Pretty dumb. Like, Iron Man's there, and he's like, oh, thanks for coming and saving me and stuff. And then out of nowhere, a tendril just comes and gets him and punches his lung and rips out his kidney and all this shit. And he's like, oh, how are we going to... How are we going to fix this? And then, where is it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. There, there he is. That does look pretty cool. It does look cool, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the Iron Spider... Was well, excellent design. Cool. I just... What I, I don't like it on Spider-Man. Do you I think... Need, it needs to be red and blue, not... Iron oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been so much cool. What was cool was his Iron Man suit. It's like a Titanium Knight armor. It looks pretty that badass. Ultraman. Mm. That, that is, is very Ultraman. Ultraman. Yeah. 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 So that was an it. Ultraman. All right, last book on the pile. Batman <laughs> Superman, World's oh, Finest, the week, 16. I, I thought you might say that. Thinking it was last on the pile for a reason. It is the best looking book of the week, I'll tell you <laughs> that. And just every couple of pages. Yeah. Like, Non-stop. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, like, 100% Dan Moore are just drawing yeah. whatever he wants to draw. Plastic Man is in the book, Firestorm's in yep. the book. I wait for week. this. I saw it there on, the, on Saturday. I'm like, no, I'll wait for the pod to look at this. <laughs> I love Dan Moore art. And that's why I picked that. Power Rangers thing this yeah. week. The, uh, the cover is damn more. It looks excellent. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, and just continues cool. on with the story from last, like, New, new Mazo. Yeah. And what That's cool. And how he became New Mazo and all of that stuff. Uh, yeah. It's just cool. And, like, all the AI Fucking characters way. throughout the... All, or basically all anything that's controlled by AI yeah. has gone... Not rogue. rogue, but, you know, under New Mazo's yes. control. Yes. And so... And they're, and they're rounding up people... To break them down to their atoms, yes. usable elements. So just dissolve people to to their <laughs> usable elements, so they can make other things with yes. it. Yes, that was so cool. Yes, that's amazing. So yeah, you know, oh, like a Richie Rich sort of thing. <laughs> I don't think that's what happened in Richie Rich. <laughs> no, like you know how Professor whatever makes the machine and he puts all this junk in and it comes out as whatever you want it because he rearranges the atoms inside. Uh, I suppose. Uh, but this is people and not inanimate objects. It's like, this is, I this think is, at the end of the movie, a person it, it, goes in there. The, the book says it. It's soil and green sort of thing, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Damn, the closest thing. Mm. Oh, yeah. I just... It's great seeing Dan Moore just draw... She was everybody amazing. Yes. Ev ser seriously, every everybody. single character. Yeah. Green lamp, fucking Hal Jordan, next page. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, so yeah, every couple page, you get a mad splash. Yeah. Oh. Looks like the... It was like Green Lantern yeah, 300 like. from way back in the day. It was him on the... Anyway. It's so simple, but it's so good. Yeah. You know, like... Yeah, it's classic. To, uh, yeah, everyone's on model. Yeah. Yes. But, like, with That's your own perfect, flavor. That is a perfect Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Wonder Woman is amazing. Wonder Woman, Batman, they're Holy all amazing. Holy shit. Plastic yep. Man rules. I haven't seen Plastic Man in uh, ages, okay. and it's a shame. Well, we've been saying it for probably 16 months now, but if you're a DC person and you're not buying this book, I don't know what you're doing. You need to be buying this. Mm. Yeah. And keep an eye out for uh, Teen Titans World's Finest coming yes. soon. Should have been listening to Nitten from issue one. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking wish I listened. <laughs> you got a bad injury? Not the first, first uh, arc. Uh, and it's not even a, hard, a soft cover yet, it's only a hard cover. Cheeky <laughs> buggers. And I can't, you can't really find the issues at the moment. Yeah. Like back issues and stuff online. What a bugger. Because it's a legit, uh, not specky hype, not bullshit Hickman fake hype. It's just legit. This book's good. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You can't get them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. You know, no one's flipping them. Mm. People are just buying them. Yeah, yeah. So pretty. Fuck, wait, man. Yeah. Oh, all... he's back on fire. Yeah, he'd say it every single time. He just needs a time to recharge. Yeah. Is his Shazam's been killer mm -hmm. as well? I don't know if you ask him. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a fan of the Tyrannosaurus. I don't know. Uh, I see that because Shazam's like his favourite. Yeah, okay. What's he so like? He don't like Shazam. Ah. <laughs> like, what, 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 what? So uh, I think he feels it's a bit regressive because like they, they're taking the powers off the other kids and it's just him. I understand that to a point, but eh? that's been going for years. So I don't yeah. care. Mm. Couldn't care less about Eugene. <laughs> Or the other one. I don't even know what the other one's name is. Yeah, as long as, like, okay, Mary's got powers. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, but... You know Freddy's gonna. Yeah. And like, that's the interesting yeah. bit, because Freddy's Will probably crushed. be bad for a bit. Yeah. Mm. Or they'll, like, they'll give Freddy the powers. Yes, yeah, 100%. Because Billy's not glorifying them. It's probably what's going to happen. And we need to have a, 
a new Shazam um, adversary since they sort of ruined Black Adam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about White Adam? That's his name, right? Yeah. The kid. We have white powers. Is that, that that's what they're calling him, right? Yeah. Mm. So. Okay. Um, like the kid. Are you reading Black Adam? No. Pretty okay. Yeah. The the like his descendant. Um, got powers and I think he's calling himself White Adam okay okay because he's a good guy well, right. get listened to. I hope I'm right <laughs> I'm not making this up yeah I think you're right okay uh, do you know anything else? Um, I read allegedly <laughs> there you go mm. I <laughs> read you, Dylan. Um, <laughs> uh, I Hate Fairyland oh, issue yeah? 7 it's been... How long has it been since this came out? It's been a while. Way too yeah. long. Oh, it's been a while since you've spoken about one. Yeah, I picked it up and I couldn't really remember what happened. Um, I found it was like Battle I realised I got two at home this week. You got two? When I did Homeless, it was like, ah, oh, I must have missed that. Oh! No, because, yeah, I remember... Yeah, pull, yeah. Books today. I was like, let's take this. Yeah, um... Long story short, Gert, she's like 30 now, and she's back in Fairyland... And the new king of Fairyland is trying to get rid of her. So he gets this freaking 80s, like, mullet dude with a... I think he has, like, a, a flying taxi. Cool. He gets him to travel through time and space to recruit different versions of Gert from different timelines and hires them to travel and kill Good that crime. version of her. Yes. One of them is just the younger version of her. Ah, uh, from like the first volume? Yeah, from the first volume. So the dude comes up and says, Hey, uh, do you want to travel to the future and kill yourself? Fair enough. This book's amazing. Wow. I bought it because I got the Jimmy Food variant. I, I think for I didn't read it, but it, you know, like Scotty. Young as that. He's actually not doing that? He's just it a writer, isn't he? Yeah, yeah not this it looks, it looks very similar it, to his art. It is perfect. Because I didn't read really, I'm just like, think for like, yeah, yeah. it just looks very nah, much like his art. Yeah. Because well, that's why I think I got him. You couldn't just get anyone to draw it. It's got to look the same. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. part of the whole it's, charm. I was really worried about it. 100%. Because, yeah, I love the first one. Young was doing the art on that and it made it. Yeah. So with the second one, when it was announced that someone else was doing yeah, it, I was like, like it was just as vibrant. I remember seeing some of the yeah, old yeah. Uh, issues that we had, the yeah. last couple of issues. That we so had I think, I think same colorist yes. helps a lot. Yes. Um, and yeah, Bean uh, just nails it. Yeah. Um, I think that's all I read this week. Dave? Nothing for me. Did I say that? Didn't? Um, I read Mortal Kombat 800. Yep. It was pretty good. Like, the main thing to get out of it is, like, the backup, which is sort of the prequel to the Wonder Woman one that's coming out yep. next month, I guess. Okay. The, re the relaunch. That's the Tom King Yeah. Uh, starring Wonder Woman's... Uh, so it's a set in the future, I guess, because Wonder Woman's daughter and Superman and John Kent is older and... Yeah, yeah. Um, Damien yeah, is yeah. Batman with a friggin' duster and a yeah, giant. Yeah, yeah. Didn't yeah. they just power up though? Or was that? What do you mean? Didn't they just make her like a god, like a? No, no. Or was that different? What? And a Wonder Woman. Yes, she would like during um the Lazarus. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Is that still going, or is that kind of been now? Sort of. They're moving on and going future, like you just said. Like the first part of it is just Wonder Woman, in a, I guess between life and death, and it's just going. She's visiting dreams of other characters and saw different artists. Okay. And she's sort of, I guess, reconciling slash comforting other characters. And then she comes out of the, 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 the coma and I didn't really sort of get it. Yeah. But I was really quick, really, yeah, yeah, really yeah, fast. Yeah. Um, but the, yeah, the, the backup is the... Well, so is the Tom King... I'm listening. Is his whole run going to be? No. Okay. That few? okay. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen previous. Okay, no. cool. Because I was like, oh, I don't know if I want that. Ah, for a Wonder Woman. You know, your main yeah. Wonder Woman book. Interspersing, jumping around, sure. Yeah, I would have been like, oh, by Wonder Woman, not fucking. Uh, and her name, daughter. like the daughter's name, is Elizabeth Marston Prince. Oh, yeah. Which is cool because Marston yeah. is the, the the middle name of the Wonder Woman's creator. Yes. William Marston Moulton? Yeah. Yes. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like his style. <laughs> He invented yeah. the lie detector. Yeah. Amongst other it. things. Beat me to it. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I like. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, the book was good. I like. I, I, I liked it, and I will sort of... Interesting to see where the, where the new, new series goes. I'm not sure if I have that. 
Ah. Yeah. I think that's the regular cover. No, 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 no. There's another one in the pile anyway. Um, yeah. Oh, that was the oh, one. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's yeah. That's, oh, and that's the what yeah. you're just talking about. Oh wow, look at his, that's, nice. that's quite a. Uh... I like the art in it. Yeah, Sam Pier, right? Yeah. yeah. So that, uh, he's going to be on on art. Oh wow! For New Wonder Woman. Is and that, yeah, and is she's that young. The yeah, daughter. That's, that's daughter. Wow. Okay. And she's got three different lassos. Yeah. The three lassos of fate is what they're called. Mm -hmm. One's gold, one's black, and I don't think I saw the other one. But... Uh, that white. Oh yeah. Or like, like, yeah. centuryish or yeah. whatever. I don't know. Yeah, the art is great. I, I dig. I dug the story. Don't know about his outfit, but yeah, cool. Well, it's a throwback to the um, to Morrison. Cuba, yeah, oh, Cuba Morrison cool. thing, right? Like right. Gotham by Gaslight, something like that. No, 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 no. no, 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 no like, um, yes, 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 yes. Oh, what's that called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that. Yeah. Or Robin, son of Batman, or whatever. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look good. Mm. That's the only other thing we read. Fair enough. Well, so, grab Starlight directly behind you, champion. Yeah, babe. <clears throat> I picked this up, and it was definitely a trade of the week for me. It's the only trade I read. Um, the Return of Duke McQueen. Starlight, I am pretty sure it will enter big game, partly, somehow. I think These belts on the cover. Duke might come to save the day. Um, this was really unexpected. The, the art's awesome. But the heart and yeah. the, the the family, the, the sadness, the sadness, the the poignancy, the the last remaining hope of tyranny. It's it's freaking awesome. I just read it in, in quick in one hit. It, it it's so easy to read. Uh, it's a six parter. Um, I was saying to Jay, I'd really love to see. You only see a few little certain one or two panels of his old adventures. Some one a one shot or two of a couple of his adventures would be really really cool. Uh, talk that showing him saving different worlds and different um, nemesis that he was fighting. Uh, it just looks like he had some badass things, and then comes back to Earth and no one believes him. Yeah. So I had no idea about this book. I thought it was a bit more superhero-y. I didn't realize he was just a fighter pilot. I yeah, I had no idea. Um, but this was this has definitely been one of the standout Mark Miller books. And so unexpected, and uh, then yeah, find out it's one of Jay's yeah, faves, I, and easily yeah. I think my favorite. Um, yeah, I'll I'll definitely just read this again. It's just it's got that um, you know, it's a friggin' what do you call it, Buck Rogers yes. sort of vibe, yeah, right? Yeah, it's what definitely. It, so it's a bit different. Yeah, Flash Gordon, Buck yeah, Rogers. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just got that whole old school and just yeah, hero hero at a time. And... A bit of Rocket Man in there, I think. Just a little bit. Rocketeer? Yeah, okay. Um <laughs> Yeah, I I really, really dug it. I'm glad I bought that in Huck. I'll read Huck this week, but I'm really glad I read that first because it is just um Yeah, it, 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 I almost teared up a couple of times too. Mm -hmm. It's it's really poignant. Um and the family shit really hits hard, like everything he how he was perceived in one spot and then went back to somewhere where Everyone thinks he's a joke. It's yeah, yeah man. I don't want to say too much more, but uh, it's definitely bang for your buck. That's it. I did read one more thing what? while we were talking. <laughs> what do you got? Syrian invasion. I don't know if we talked about that yet. Um, oh. ultimate. Whatever the book was called. <laughs> what? Ultimate. Ultimate, ultimate, ultimate invasion. Ultimate yeah, that's that, 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 <laughs> that, <laughs> Syrian invasion. Yes. Yes. Really, that's a show we watched. I don't know if we talked about that, but I just read that while we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talked about it because we'd read it. So please, what did you think about it as you read it? No, no, it was really messed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no. It was brilliantly messed up, eh? Hey? I did not expect Illuminati shit. Let's go back. Let's keep talking. Yeah, yeah I'm happy to talk about that. Yeah, I'm really happy to talk about more. <laughs> like how he made his stand in. Yeah. When he broke out. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. thing was so messed was up. Yeah, yeah, with the DNA yeah. he used. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which is straight away. Who are you? Yeah, yeah, you're not, in, you're not, you're not, you're not Dan or whatever. But he's like, I made redundancies just because just you have to, sort mm -hmm. of. That was great. Oh. And like the pencil dart. Yes, how good was so much better? Yeah. Uninked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Couldn't agree more. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't talk about it earlier. Thanks for the update, didn't you? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, how many issues are it supposed to be? Five, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, they're all going to be freaking eight nine nine. Yeah, I think so. Might just buy the Are you going to read them all during the pod? Because this is going to be we can have flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we make, like, let's yeah. put it at the start. Yeah, we'll do that first, and then all right, done. 
<laughs> don't make the book any longer, guys, because we don't want to talk about it during the movie. All right. That's right. Fantastic. You read anything else? Nah, nah. All right. Okay, Dave. Yes. You've got some uh, Magic the Gathering stuff to talk about. Yeah. So recently, Wizards of the Coast introduced like all IP into their Magic the Gathering. So like that Godzilla, Street Fighter. They D and D. D and D. They're doing a Doctor Who. And you can use them in the regular only game? in yeah, just... one type of game. I think. I thought they were just regular cards. They're regular cards. Yeah. What's oh, Wizards of the depends. Coast? It depends. Some yeah, like publisher. Okay. D&D and Magic. Yeah. Usually, like, the IP cards are reflections or just, like, alternates of, like, normal cards. Yeah, oh, it's, their, it's their version of, yeah. Yeah. like... But now and again, they release some cards that are just, like, you can't play this. Yeah. Because it's Godzilla only, like, or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, like, you can't play it in tournament play, but you can play yeah. it yes, yes, against have, between um, friends. What was Flicks? it? Secret lair drops? Some, some of them you can, some of them you can't. Anyway, um, Lord of the Rings one. They made all... So, recently they started serial cards. So, like, only a hundred oh. of these are printed in that. Oh, no, Captain Crunch. No. <laughs> Fucking wish you were going there, Jesus Christ. Well, I know, they worth a bit. <laughs> but then they made a one one which is just the one ring to rule them all. And there's a bounty on it from, like, people in the States and Coconut. that. And they're asking for three million for it. Because it hasn't come out yet, and it's only going to be in, like... Oh, no, it's the come special, out. It's come out. Oh, the special well, no, it's found it yet, though. Right? No one. Oh, yeah. Well, no, it's claimed to found it. Yeah, what's available? Where have like, you... in the um, special collector's boosters that they do. They do regular boosters, yeah. and they do, like, a special collector's booster, which is a lot more than yeah. regular booster packs. Like 60 to $80 a yeah. pack of just these wow. collector cards. It's only, like... 15 yeah it's like a regular like yeah. amount of cards you get in a booster but there's like fancy variants foil and foil and lines and yeah. only like sort of cards you would only get in like the collector space so it's a lottery well, on this podcast purely dedicated to pop culture stuff I think that is a complete waste of money and it's just silly <laughs> now let's talk about comic books and other things right? let's talk about this fucking $16 <laughs> comic book <laughs> wow that's a three mil as the bounty really, on yeah. like the one ring card, yeah. there's mm -hmm. only one or one, so it's only one. Because it's completely written in like um, Elvish, Elvish. Oh, so okay. it doesn't matter what language collector thing. It's Give you nine be. bucks for a Legolas. Well, I don't think it really matters because ain't nobody touching it. It's just getting slabbed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you know, like it's a fake fucking value. Like if you're Japanese and you're playing like Japanese and buy that, you're not going to worry. Oh, it's only going to be an English one. Like it could be in your one as well. Yeah, you just need one. to learn how to read Elvish. Elvish. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Should come with like Liv Tyler, so she can help you. Oh, Arwen. No, I prefer Liv Tyler. Okay. <laughs> I just think that'd be a bad investment in three million. Mm. You know, like, listen, I prefer the one ring. I, just don't know, like, I don't know if you get like your money whole, back in town. Yeah. When he says, Cause it's not a real my bow or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you yeah that's my it. bow. That's all. That, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Is that true for the it book? It is. It is. Oh, no, not in the book, uh, from what I know. Okay. Yeah. Interesting, though, Dave. Mm. It is. I have a question for all of you. Mm. Yeah. Are you Craven the Hunter? <sighs> oh, my God. Why does he need to have special lion blood? Powers? He's got magic animal powers. Why does he? All right, have magic vegan animal powers. Because <laughs> then when he teams up with Morbius, yeah, that's gonna happen. That's their plan. <laughs> Why? Is he kill a Spider Man that doesn't exist? Because yes. we've never fucking Bond, seen him. Like, uh... hey, he'll fight more Venom, maybe. There we go. Why? Why? Anyway, spite. It, looks, it looks. It he probably. They like, exist for. Greed and spite. Avi Arad still owns the fucking rights to Spider-Man. And he's like, fuck them. I'll just keep making shit anyway. Because mm. I spend $10 and I make $20. Give me the Russell Crowe Craven movie. Yeah, because he's like actual Craven. Yeah, he <laughs> is Craven. Yes. He is Craven. Or just... Give me Russell Crowe and Toby Maguire, Craven's last hunt. Because <laughs> kick-ass... He got Scraven. Like, yeah. he's at the poster. He looks pretty he good. Looks right. it's, but it's like, not it's for a... that character that's supposed to be all animal lover. Yeah. He's sitting there with his lion vest. He's sitting on a throne made out of fucking endless. Foe, foe, it's foe. Uh, it's, it's foe. Yeah, it's like that panel or cover or whatever of 
Craven actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's just not him. Yeah. Please. Mm. But, it, but he's an animal. I'm sure the, the, the antlers he's picked up after a poacher's killed him. That's something. right. He's yeah. liberated yeah. the Oh, no. It's animals. just the ones that they've shed when they've grown. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Seen that? that is the weirdest thing when they shake them off. Yeah. Oh, it's a creepy looking. Oh. You've never seen them sh- shake no. off the antlers? No. Yeah, we'll need to check that video out later. Do they regrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that's they, why they shed, they shed them. Oh, it's amazing. Skins, yeah. 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 Except it's bone. Yeah. Yeah. He's just. Yeah, it's crazy. Um. I don't yeah. think the trailer was violent enough. I just want to throw that out there. He's got... Oh, he bites me ears off or something. Dude. Yes. He's yeah, going for like an American R he rating. He stabs some, like uh, some throats. MA-ish here. Could have ripped some throats out. That would have been like Roadhouse. May go R uh, here as well. Probably won't. But... I think MA, MA wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. If it, like, if there's anyone... I know people will go in. People will like this. But fuck me. It's not right. It's not Craven. What's like, the point? We got Spider Man villains with no Spider Man. Like, yeah, what, what are we doing? Spite. I know. He but... said spite, and it's correct. Yes. When, when, you know, when yeah, they when said they were going to do stuff in the Morbius was first one, you're like, cool, because Morbius works. It doesn't need Spider Man. <laughs> Still. And then they made a terrible movie. <laughs> and, like, that was their best chance. And then this dickhead and they chose to watch it. So I don't, I don't know how they're going to do with the rest of them. <sighs> and. Oh, yeah, because Madam Web comes out this year, doesn't it? Oh, That's going to suck, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fuck, I forgot about that. <sighs> Two terrible Spider-Man movies. Spider-Man, but no Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> he looks. He looks okay. All things said, he looks all right, right on that. On for that, what though? On the on the poster, and then he starts talking, yeah. and he sounds like I'm a teenager. Craven. I'm like, Craven the Hunter. So bad. Like, High pitch, not even like a cool fucking Keanu Reeves or anything. Just a quick silver accent, <laughs> right? Just an accent, fucking. Yeah. Fucking Russell Crowe's doing that accent. Oh. Yeah, because Russell Crowe is, is the craven. He's the proper craven. He's so gay. <laughs> he's the one that you don't like. Even though the young one, his name is Ser- Sergei. Yeah. Fuck Sergei it. Jr. Yes. Yeah. And the saddest Sergei part Kranov is... Jr. In the last... Let me just call it Craven Jr. In the Spencer... <laughs> <laughs> in the Spencer on a Spidey, they did this craven story where craven had all these sons. I remember you guys telling me about this. Yeah, that's great. And one son went and killed all the other sons, so he was the only one mm. there. Like, how cool! Obviously, you're not going to do that kind of shit. But if this was a Spider-Man movie and Craven was the bad guy, oh. you could probably do that yes. because it's cool mm. and it it adds depth and grotesque to a ca- to a a badass character. It's not cool to They've done cool stuff with these kids. Yeah, the, the chick. Oh, there, the, the daughter. daughter. Was that was cool. excellent. That was the daughter? Yeah, the, yeah, the daughter and the mother. Yeah, that was excellent. Yeah. That was in the. Um, Ramos was doing the art yeah. back then. Yeah, in the 90s, actually... you had Craven 2, the, the first son. And then he had a mad miniseries where he was like a Hollywood producer. That was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> get Craven. That. Um, <laughs> I remember that. Uh, yeah, 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 that was excellent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, um, like get shorty. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was great. What? And they, yeah, and they had like yeah. movie movie, movie posters. Posters. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So what the yeah, fuck? Did you work with Stephen Graham? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was around the time of. I would uh, say it's Frank Terry, but I it's around the time of Trouble, wasn't it? Yeah, about that. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so we just we could go and read that instead of watching this movie. Yeah, we got to see Rhino. What, Paul Giamatti? Bring it on. Yeah, it's Ron Zimmerman. Can I just do to give us a good rhino, though? But I don't want a rhino that, like, hulks out. Yeah, is I want a man uh, stuck in a suit and it's more tragic. Is it going to be his brother? Yeah, it's just... It's just oh, well, his brother's... It's just chameleon. His brother's chameleon. Yes. Oh, he's, he's not... No. What? No. Yeah. No, that's just the, the, the... In the comics, right? Like, the, yeah. their brothers. Yeah. Craven and Chameleon are half brothers. I did not know that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, missed, I missed that somewhere along the way. Oh. Ron's They're actually sticking to something in the comics. Yeah. Cool. Ron Zimmerman. Ah, oh, yeah. And John McCrea. Yeah. He's like a... It was a Hollywood guy, I think. Yeah. But hang on. So, yeah. but his brother's Chameleon, but his brother's going to be Rhino? Uh, no, well, I don't know. Oh, okay, anyway. Doing. We'll wait. I, th- I think... He has another brother. I think uh, Rhino is a separate dude okay. in, the, in the movie. I, I looked at the, uh, the cast. But Chameleon's in it as well? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's like, like stack of villains and still no Spider-Man. You, awesome. You're doing all these Spider-Man villain movies. You're making them heroes. Mm. Why? Because there's no... I know, because you can't do Spider-Man. Spider-Man well, there's that. But also, yeah, why are you doing this? Like, There's no reason for them to hate Spider-Man because he's not in the story. Yeah. So... But well, you could like... Legal, legally speaking, could they make like Scarlet Spider or something? Oh, for sure. 
Why don't they do a Scarlet Spider then? And then have Scarlet Spider be the fucking... And let's do a Flash Thompson Venom. Like, it's all available. It's got to be. If they're doing yeah, more, like... Mm. They're doing Venom and Carnage. Mm. Then you can do these villains fighting a Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. Of some sort, As being yeah. villains instead of... Yeah, you can... Ben Riley. Mm. I know you'll confuse a lot of people. <laughs> oh, I just have no, I have they no, don't no, care. No, I have no care. faith that they could not fucking I mean, make that a mess. They were fucking... just a dude called Ben Riley with Spider Man powers. But yeah. they'd still make $3 billion, yeah. so it doesn't matter because bovines would be. And dumbass would go watch it. That's probably better than Craven the good guy. Oh, yeah. Well, it's better yeah. than a fucking <laughs> Spider Man villain with no Spider Man. It's just John Wick. It's the John Wick formula. Like, you just go ham on the violence. Well, they already showed that in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. by the That's the... Like, the action will probably be good in this movie, but I don't care about any of the characters in it. Nah. I don't know if I watch it. I really don't know. Send us free tickets. <laughs> so we can talk shit about your movie. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Thank you. Truth. Critique. Might, it's called critique. Might have burnt that Sony bridge last week. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them their Spider-Man movies. Fucking dog shit. <laughs> 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 well, she didn't use the other word again. <laughs> um, cool. So when's that coming out? Like October, is something it, like that. Yeah, I think maybe. Is it this? Is this year? Is this year? Yeah. We've, got the, we've got the trailer for it. So it's that's all, what I mean. Let's, it's all sort of We've got known. to be getting the Aquaman trailer soon too. Then. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was thinking about that last night. Like Jesus. They're not going to spend a dime on that market. But, but it's right? like they're just going to just everyone limp out so soft. Everyone that saw Flash knows he's okay because he's in a puddle. October. October? Yeah. yeah. I think well, Madam Web. I've got to mark Webb's. that down on Can my look, calendar. I look Madam Web. I think it's December. <laughs> Fucking uh, Madam Web. Or November, oh, maybe. God. Way too close if it's... Oh, yeah, it is, because they're both Sony, aren't they? Mm. Yep. Maybe it's early next year, though. It's, next... it's not even going to be real Madam Web, right? It'll be no. Julie Carver to Madam Web. Yeah. Bah. Give me old... Because the, the chick from... No, as, yeah. as we've it's... seen with these Sony movies, the real version of the character will be... The in the, yes, the, bad the guy. movie as the bad guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So actual yeah. Madam Web will be the bad guy. <laughs> Just like how Morbius fought an actual vampire that like eating people. Yes, and Craven is fighting his dad. Yes. He's actual Craven. Yes, he likes to hunt things. Yes. Hey, what for MCU? Maybe, maybe they're building up, and there'll be Spider Man will be the bad guy that they have to fight, and Spider Man will be the bad one. Spiders Man. Yeah. It's just a man spider. Man spider. Oh! Man spider. I would take yeah, it all back. Um... I would take it all back. <laughs> what is it? The... Oh, they'd fuck the costume up. <laughs> spider hunters? The Smythe thing? Oh, yeah. Spider, spider slayers. 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 That's your cool edge. Yeah, name. give us Alice the Smythe in a full mad wheelchair. That was awesome in the old Spider Man cartoon. And, and the that... mullet. Yeah, the in full the mullet the and the. Can... He looks cool. so cool. Fucking ripped yeah, fucking mate. dude in there. Yeah, quadriplegic. <laughs> with his Giver blades. Yeah. He's... Uh, did he shoot little lasers out of those yes, things? Yes, he yeah. did. Yes, he did. Awesome. Always lasers. Everything was lasers. Dan King was the best right Oh, the fucking, just the beat cops have laser guns. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Just your run of the mule fucking cops mm. have laser guns. Uh, awesome. Okay, um, let's get into uh, episode one of Secret Invasion. Fantastic. Out this week. Yeah. It's not the, just the perfect Nick Fury yeah. show. Shocked and, on how star studded it was, to be honest, too. Like, I didn't expect, like, Coleman and like, obviously a Cheadle and stuff, but then, yeah, for them to throw away some characters and stuff, too, was. I was really spo- yeah, yeah, shocked. Uh, on... Spoilers. Just heads up, spoilers. We want to talk spoilers. Yeah, may as well, yeah. Yeah. Like. Not much happens in the whole episode. Like, oh, like a lot of stuff happens, but it's simple it's, and it's like done it's, so well. It's, it's setting know? up a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of moving pieces. Yeah, like I, I yeah. Because everyone thinks that Nick Fury is very dumb right now, mm. and Nick Fury is not very dumb at all. I right, scorched earth coming now. Like a yeah. mofo. Yeah. Like He's why? Why do you think I let them pick you? You, you don't think yeah. I let them pick you? That up? scene I, between Olivia Coleman and Sam Jackson was great. Excellent. She is great. I'm a big fan of Olivia yes. Coleman. Yes, Tommy Lady. Yes, yeah. it is. It was really good. Did anyone else get excited by her name? Me. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Who's she supposed to be? Well, not. But her surname is like the original Union Jack surname and you know, oh, okay. Aristocratic. Farnsworth. Yes. Sonia. Farnsworth. I never saw Sonia. 
I was like, Ugh. <laughs> I did that a few times, but I was oh, raging. My theory, yes. I'm probably wrong. Mm. He's an LMD. Yeah, he's I'm there. thinking that. I'm thinking that. Or he's a scroll. It's like you don't like think a, I could play these games yeah, so too. And then... Scroll down as, as him because he's still up. He's up, he's still up there, yeah. and you'll probably. I reckon, anyway, I hope not. Mm. No, no, but then that could introduce like younger proper fury. You mean so when... Hasselhoff? <laughs> <laughs> like, like at the end of the LMD at the end of the scroll the whole time. Maybe at LMD the whole time. Mm. Okay. That would cheat me. Yeah. No, oh, but, but like, like as a contingency, like he's yeah. done it after like all this after stuff has snap. happened after the snap. Yeah. Still. And then... So Ross, that we got mm. in Black Panther: Wakanda Forever, is Ross. This is just yes. a scroll. I reckon they've got him since. Yeah. Okay. Because so, I think they did a, the, you know, like when you get their base, ah, oh, they're locked up. Yeah. So they're not. Not like he's offed or whatever. No, mm. oh, no, so, just like yeah. the whole yes. fucking plane, like the the ship full of heroes yeah, that yeah, just yeah, happen yeah. to be hanging around yes. in mid orbit in the in the comic book story. Uh, <laughs> Spoilers. But yeah, when like when they got him would be interesting and stuff. Could, yeah, I, yeah, and I think this is a sort of case of like they didn't want to go the route of um, Winter Winter Soldier and Falcon, yep. where the, the the terrorist group were not really terrorists. Yeah, you know they they sort of had to. Shoe in them killing random people just to make them battle, make, yeah, halfway through to make people sympathize with them. These ones, you're like, no, these are definitely bad, they're, they're, these are definitely terrorists. I love that it's the kids, yes, like, because, like, you know, when Captain Marvel comes out and straight away, people are <laughs> like, oh, I know about making the Skrulls villains. And I was like, from the get go, I was like, uh, making the Skrulls hero show, or good people, should we say? I was like, from the get go, I was like, nah, because that. The general public are going to be fucking spun out when they're the bad guys. This lulls you into yeah, a false sense of, oh, these you don't worry about the scrolls, right? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And I also say the time to people, I was like, that's how the real world works, yeah. you know? Watch Rambo Free, bro. <laughs> He's teaming up with goddamn... Taliban. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, And like the fact that it's the kids who, like, man, 30 years ago we were promised a goddamn yeah, planet yeah. and we're still stuck in this shithole. Mm-hmm. We're just going to take this. Yes. Because they don't have the same... Yeah. Growing up and same mm-hmm. issues. And it's cool that, like, where they're hanging out, they can hang out because they're not... Uh, yeah. They're yeah. into radiation. radiation. And it's all off the grid. Yeah. yeah. It's so damn cool. Was anyone else shocked, like, with everything going on outside of Marvel, everything, where they started and the attacks and the massive explosions in the middle of Russia? This probably was filmed uh, before, I guess... Really? I did a mind. It was in production like, for a while. Yeah. Uh, maybe. It was announced ages ago. I don't ago. know. Yeah. I just, I just, I, I'm no Clark. I just, I was just a little bit. I went, hey, wow, we're doing all this in Russia. That's in, I thought it was cool, but yeah, I just. Uh, was, a part of me thought it's like, is it actually in Russia, or did they just like kid up? You know, it was a set. You know. Oh, whether that or oh, not, I was right. more just yeah. talking about the fact yeah. that they were, just, they were putting it in yeah. Russia. Set in Russia. Yeah, yeah, set in Russia was more um, what I was getting. But at. like, I think it's sort of interchangeable anyway. Like with any like, <laughs> okay, but not, you say that. There's not many like. I guess they would want it set in um, maybe a not so friendly place. Yeah, so but not neutral. You can make them look like they're a bit more incompetent. That they yeah, we don't want London. Aliens. We don't want London. We and don't want yeah. big terrorist attacks yeah. happening in mm. you know civilian. Yeah, yeah, kind they, of, they, that's right. You can. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. I just thought it was. A, I was yeah, just yeah. thought it was an interesting choice. Um, it was good because I thought they did great. Like straight away, I was like, well. I was like, ah, oh, good old Everett's going to be scroll for sure. You can tell, right? Yeah. But down. the rest of the episode, the whole time, you're like, they hey, scroll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm half expecting Is Kobe going to be a scroll? Yeah. You know? I was half expecting at the end to... Maybe. Do you know? Well, hang on. Just because she's lying there doesn't mean she's dead. Yeah, I know. Gut shot, man. Mm-hmm. I'll watch... Yeah, but they're very selective with... Yeah, it did chances. zoom out and it didn't change. It's like... So he, she's either gonna be fine. Break but, off the sense, yeah, you know, like, where she'll be fine and there's just like a deep. She's like, oh, pretending that she's dead, just so you know, to fire up Nick Fury. Yeah. Oh, he did it. Oh, what are you talking be. about? The, that that shot where Fury is following the dude and yeah. he's changing behind. Yeah, yeah. Him. Oh, the little man. Girl, oh, then the man. Yeah, yeah that was Set, setting him up as a villain. Did 
perfect yeah. job. And that's the one episode just and set him up. The as fact that like that little girl was there at the start. Yeah, and that was the same yeah. dude. Like he's yeah. been following from the get go. And the chick fucking making out with the dude and then making weird eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> Fury. It's like, hey, what the hell is this? That was hot. So good. Ben Mendelsohn was excellent. Mendelsohn. Yeah, I'm watching your box this week. And I love that they let him just be Australian, pretty much. Yes. You yeah, I was just gonna say his accent sort of. Wavers 20 around. years, man. Relax. He went to Australia once. <laughs> <laughs> no, just like sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it sounds like he's trying to do an accent, and other times he's just Ben Mendelsohn. Yeah, well, like Rogue One, he was trying to do an accent. Yes, because mm. at least I think he's Australian just trying not to yes. sound Australian to Australian, to Australia. <laughs> but not put on a full a American distinct yeah. accent. You know, they don't want to place him. Mm. But just you can't sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I especially sort of noticed when he was talking to uh, his daughter. Yeah, yeah Millie Clark. Yeah. They haven't even mentioned and her. That, yet. that little bit they were having in the little tunnel. Yeah. Mm. yeah. His his accent sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. was wild in that scene. What do you think of her? I thought she was a bit weak. Yeah, I don't <gasps> think she, I don't I think she's not a very good actress. Just uh, straight up. I, I think she was really good in, in, in Game of Thrones. I think she did that role well. Like the, the role of the slave girl that became queen, I think she played that quite well. Maybe the fact that she may have had him out a few times helped. But um, I thought she was, well, yeah, it was quite... She doesn't do much this episode. I think though. she emotes. Oh, she found out that her mother mean, died. Right? Yeah. Yeah, she didn't. She found out her mother died. And there was a stoic thing. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I think she's a bit one note. Mm. Yeah, I really liked her in Game of Thrones, but yeah, I just... It's only been one episode, so we'll see. But mm. yeah. I can't really see, say too many other shows I've seen. Around. I liked the dude playing Gravik. He was good. Yeah, and it's just yeah bad. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Who's who's the silhouette up there? Yeah. Hmm? You know how they're looking at the silhouette when Gravik's like. It was Gravik. Yeah, because he wasn't there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. yeah they were. Yeah, yeah. That Gravik yeah. was up in the silhouette. There was. Okay. Um, one of the trailers. Later, uh, you, you see him. I'm pretty sure it was Gravik, and he kind of like super scrolls out, like yes. he, he yeah, stretches. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 so yeah, that would look really cool. Yeah, so, you so got to give him that yeah. sort of stuff, right? Makes it more threatening. Yeah, very good, for, very good first episode. Yep. You reckon you'll see the FF in this? No, no. Just... You might get a Captain Marvel cameo at the end, but. Maybe even uh, not, not even that. Well, nah, maybe not because the movie is the next on deck. Yeah. So mm. not. Um, in, they're, they're not giving it FOF away on TV. Plus, they're mm. already oh, pushed they a shitload of mention it. No, but they've pu- pushed a shitload of other stuff back, so that's even been. Yeah. You see all that stuff got pushed back? Bunch of movies, to... everything got pushed back, TV got pushed back. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Thunderbolts is like 2025 or something now. Duh. Oh, you mean Team Captain America? Yeah. Just this, like, like. That's the first the century. <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing, though. Oh, yeah it, yeah, it can only be. They pushed everything out phase four, just crammed everything. Oh, but it's just the way it is. They just give strike. stuff some breathing room. Yeah, that, that, that really. That's all. That's yeah. the only reason. But they need to give their stuff breathing room. Oh, I think they. I think the next batch was definitely. I think they already decided that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it was a long time between Moon Knight and this. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Moon Knight was last, right? Yeah. Or was Miss Marvel nice? Um, She-Hulk. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's right. right. She-Hulk. But that was still a good few months. Yeah. yeah. And then you got Werewolf. Was that... That was, that was a one-shot one of that. Yeah. yeah. Like well, that was Halloween, so that's oh. ages ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Guardians Christmas special. Yeah. But that was a one-shot. Now, this is the first TV show for this year. Mm. Yeah. Right? Live action. Yeah, they did that Devil Dinosaur shit, but that was just cartoon. Yeah. No, yeah. Like but yeah, proper, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, first one yeah. six months. Yeah, yeah. Like, they've already realised they've mm. gone too hard. Mm. On, and you know, not just that Star Wars thing as well. They, uh, yeah, they mm. definitely gone. Oh, we're burning through. It's not, you know, Disney Plus. It's not quite the numbers they would like. So. Has, uh, she starts. That's in start soon, doesn't it? In mm-hmm. July or something. The. Ahsoka. Ahsoka. What uh, the freaking name is? Uh, I can never get it right. I don't really awesome. care. Yeah, he's hard to make me not care about Rosario Dawes. Jesus. That bitch should be dead. Not Rosario. <laughs> it's so good. Yes. He is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just done with Star Wars until Andor comes back. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah fair, fair. Like, 100%, I'm not watching anything Star Wars anymore. Andor what? What's next, Dylan? <laughs> Don't bite, Dylan. 
I can't help it. Damn, this, I can't this is fucking help. Fommy! Yeah, bro! Stop talking about fucking Andor. Andor? Andor, they live. Yeah, talk about that instead. Such a good movie. Such a good choice for me. Just <laughs> pat on the back. It's been a tough six weeks. Well, it was good to know where that line from Duke Nukem came from. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Bubblegum? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of gum. Came from Roddy Parker. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why Duke Nukem wears glasses, too. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, I so remember you... uh, Roddy talking about it in, I think, the documentary, like the Fed made about him. Yeah. He just had a notebook of yeah. stuff that he wrote down. Of like, like one line. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh. And he gave it to John Carpenter. And John yeah. Carpenter picked that one out. So yeah. I like this. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, yeah, so Lay Live, uh, John Carpenter, 88, I think. Yeah, yeah. Off the top of my head. Yep, yep. Um, that was after Mania 3. Rowdy, oh, sorry, just Roddy Piper with Keith David. Um, and essentially about Evelyn. aliens taking over society and it's just a i guess allegory for reaganism <clears throat> and unfairly capitalism at the time yes. I, I, and it's still sort of relevant today very relevant Maybe more, more so. relevant than, yes. than ever to be honest with the obey and the putting the glasses on and you see life the see, see what it's really Watch like TV. and what's behind all the advertising and televisions and commercials and uh catalogs and everything like that but also the aliens amongst us that are hiding i guess you could say it's a Secret invasion. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they live. For, for a massive 34% increase on their income. 39. 39? I take 39% yearly. <laughs> yeah. I take 39% yeah. yearly every day of the week. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'll just take uh, 4%, thank you. Don't, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, five percent from uh, turn deposit, mate. You'd be all right. But no, no. let's go with thirty nine and just say yeah. say yes to the alien race of whatever yeah. they want to do and rape and pillage our Earth. So yeah, they were squandering our our They're Earth. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Roddy's the only man that can save us with his uh, with their sunglasses. The that was some weird shit with the. So at the start, when he's just trying to find work and he's hanging out in the slums, before it gets bulldozed, we'll get to that bit, um, there's the church across the street and they're trying to do intermittent um, programming to get through to the the, mass, the docile masses. But it was really weird the way the white dude that was doing the broadcast, but then you had the blind preacher dude saying the same yeah. thing. At, oh, that was... Yeah. yeah, that was weird. That's freaking weird, yeah. but cool at the same time. Um, that... Got a little bit muddled because they were trying to, you know, get you into the the world of what was going on and then straight into sunglasses and shooting random people in the bank. It just, I feel like it turns into a completely different movie. <laughs> Very quickly, through. yeah. Yeah. And um, I said this earlier, I felt like I was watching a fucking Paul Verhoeven movie because oh, yeah. it was so... Tongue in cheek, it's so taking the piss. Out it, of itself. Yeah, it's very uh, satire. Yeah, like, yeah. Paul Verhoeven likes to do. Yeah. Big time. Hmm. And for the fact, if you're just an outsider looking at this gentleman with sunglasses on running around, just shooting random police officers, running into a bank and just shooting random customers, like he's just going on a crazy killing spree to the normal person because he's not wearing he's the sunglasses. Just walking down the street with a shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bang. Kills two cops in broad daylight. Yeah. No, no, no. How, no. like you're saying before, how there's not a bigger manhunt for this guy that's just yeah. annihilating. And Keith David even like, you killed nine people yesterday, man. It's like. But I'll listen to what you got to say <laughs> after I beat the shit out of you for 35 minutes. Oh, man, that's <laughs> great fight scene. Oh, my fight. God. That fight scene was amazing. Fight, one of the best fight scenes yeah. ever, on, bro. What I would like to find out is how um, what, what he's using to recover because, damn, Roddy, reco his oh, face no. was busted. Well, Push I must down, say, man. i never seen Roddy Piper looking so jacked in my life. Oh, Holy like, shit. When he know? is... When, oh, that, yeah. sand, that sand did not know what hit it. When he yeah. was shoveling that sand at the start, <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is happening yeah. to us? He, he, he didn't look that jacked when he was wrestling. No. He, Jesus. He must have rang so, up Terry. Give us the good <laughs> shit, mate. So, what is Roddy Piper's nationality? He's, he's Canadian. 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 Okay, all right. He's got some Scottish heritage, but he's Canadian. All right, all right. I was just wondering, because, like... Because yeah. I always thought, like, Scottish, okay, and then... 
oh, he's pulling it really off, and then you could see like a bit of the Scottish come through when he's screaming, but no, he's good. Yeah, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, you knew that woman was dodgy from the get go. She's Evelyn. What about her? That's right. She was the from Mars Universe. Yeah. What are you throwing out through that plate glass window? Yeah. That was just. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I thought I was dead too, bitch. Like, holy shit. And you. It was quite a bit of a fall. Oh, yeah. It's like you thought I was dead. Oh, you didn't want to come and check on me. You just called the cops straight up. Like. And just how sudden that was. Yeah. Was amazing. The bit where he goes back for the glasses. Yeah. And he digs it down the garbage truck or whatever. It's like. So, I, I was confused. It's like, are there actual glasses in there or not? Because then, it didn't look like he found, like, more. Okay. But then he managed to find a spare pair for, like... Yeah, yeah there was probably, a box full of... Well, no, he probably just fell down when they threw the box in there. You yeah. know, he probably just rooted around in the garbage to find okay. the other one for Keith David. So, we <laughs> paused the movie at that point because some questions were asked. So, old mate closes the door. Mm. Right? <laughs> yeah. And then goes to the truck... So the next thing you would imagine uh, would be that he'd just drive off. Mm. Yeah. But then the tipper goes. Yeah. Because he was having an argument with somebody about something. And right. I think they weren't moving or he was something was something was he had he had an argument with something and then I think he just dumped it back out because. Because uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Some, there was some okay. sort of argument. Because when he's in there, you can hear the truck driver. Oh, you driver heard some kerfuffle or something. Oh, okay, I wasn't yeah, listening. Something. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Because I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if he does I that, and, it, and yeah, just, no, 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 no. What I was more getting at was, it was closed, and yeah. then he lifted it up, and then put it back down again. The next time he's going to throw trash out, everything's going to be at the back where that door's going to open. That's the exact opposite of what you would want yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah. And Dana's like, maybe he saw him that he was in there, and he's like. I'm just going to get this guy out by tipping the whole thing out. And I'm like, well, what was the whole point of picking up all that other shit? Yeah, before that, my favourite bit is like, he's like, I'm surprised that it's not in the trash can anymore. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh no, <laughs> the Gabo came. It's shit. been a couple of days. Yes. <laughs> well, the, Dan, Dan the time is a job. bit iffy in that whole oh, movie. Bro. Like, you know, they get to the camp after his first day of work, and then the next morning, you're like, don't you have to go to work? Yeah. You're all just sitting around. And then Peter David, the uh, Keith David yeah. throws him, throws the murder of his week's pay yeah. that he did one day's work yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I really, I know you said it got a little bit crazy, but I really enjoyed when they got to the it's base so in the banquet bonkers. with all the, the rich people and like, they're just... They're, they're the ones that just they've given off and given over to the the reptiles essentially. Mm. Well, the I love people. the 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 bloke, their mate showing yeah. them around. Oh, how could we, the bum? Yeah, but yes. I love that at the early stuff at the camp. He was dirty every time the the hacker cut in and ah bugger this guy. Like so, that him turning wasn't even wasn't a shock. Nah, no, not just that. that oh, he's a bum. He uh, money. Yeah. It's not. He just like ah, it's all bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought it was great. Yeah, yeah, dummy was so good. <laughs> But he looks so fancy. Oh, so fancy. Grant pulled him by his little goatee. <laughs> it's cold. Um, yeah, I, I dig everything about this film. It, it, especially like the open, like it got towards the end and it's like, I just still don't know what's going to happen. You know? Oh, and the way they all went down too, I didn't expect yeah. that yeah. to be the ending. I'm like, oh shit, okay, I, I respect it. But I've, yeah. Well, why you're sus on her? Like when she just pulls that gun on Keith David, I know. Right? Yeah. Just and so, you so, get it? Yeah. And she's like, I'm here. I'm like, you motherfucker. Yeah. And then she's either banging. Yeah. The yeah that's right. So good. But say that, like, man, John Carpenter, he didn't make a bad movie that whole decade, right? Like, I just well, there might be one or two, but generally, he was just killing it. Mm. Can't argue. From Halloween on, just can't argue. I need to watch some more John Carpenter's. I need. I need. I need, I need, I need to. Christine, Christine, goddamn! Is that Ken Christine? Uh, Is that the car? Yeah, yeah. You've seen Futurama. You've seen it. Then. <laughs> True. There's a couple of movies before uh, between Halloween and the film. yeah. Starman, you got, you got fog, fog. It, fog, Escape from New York, The Thing, oh. Christine, yeah. Starman, Big Trouble, Prince of Darkness, Not Great. Yeah, Prince of Darkness. That's the, That's the Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Bridges, Bridges one. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I'm it's not, good. But you know, as good as yeah. K-Pax. It, yeah. It's, and you got They Live, then you got Invisible, in Memoirs Invisible Man. Yeah, it's where it went all downhill. And then Body Bags, which I don't remember. But I don't think I've seen Body Bags. In the Mouth of Madness is great. Sam Neill. That Lovecraft Village. 
Oh, yes. What's it called? In the Mouth of Madness. Okay, I love that. That is good. And then you've got Village of the Damned with Christopher Reeves. Terrible. Escape from LA, Vampires. I didn't mind Ghosts of Mars. It's not great, but I didn't mind it. I was burnt by the last couple. (laughs) You're like, okay, he's just old now. So ratings? Oh, nine. Yeah, nine. Mm. Eight. I'll give it an eight. It had an eight. Oh, but then the very last scene. Nine, baby! <laughs> Nine! I forgot about that, yeah. Angelo scale. Yeah. Should be a ten, then. Uh, okay. Jason? What do you uh, got? Uh, I'm going to go... The Day the F Stood Still, original 1951, I think Oh, I'm going to love this, then. Yeah. Uh, black and white. I don't know, it's like... Every 50 is like... Yeah. You know what you're getting, right? Yeah. Like, I love it. I, I love... What do you call it? That's what I was like... Uh, when I was Forbidden trying to think pick... Forbidden Planet. I was like, I like... Yeah, I was yeah, like, I just well, enjoy the... The style of them and the art yeah. and the yeah. sets and the... Co- like, everything... It's just... The pace is just different. I was just about to say, I love the pacing yeah. because it's... Uh, the How they wrote it, it just... It's like a slowly unraveling mm. mystery and it's just so um, satisfying... Mm. Um, Sometimes they can be a touch long. Yeah, but... yeah. But it's like, like the TV shows probably work better. Like yes. Well, Star Trek in um, Twilight Zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I respect about yeah. those like Forbidden Planet and stuff like that is just being the level of storytelling. Like, yeah. I didn't yeah. expect that level of sci fi ness back then. Yeah. Especially with like in Forbidden Planet where it was his like ego, like it was yeah. his consciousness yeah. and shit. Like, fuck, okay. Yeah. yeah. Man, so, if you like that, watch. Um, Original series Star Trek. It's yeah, basic. That was basically that was very, that was very of yeah. the time social issues in space yes. with aliens. Yeah, because it was just um, smart nerdy dude yeah. writing shit. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the I'm the only one who watched this. Yeah, I've not seen it. This is very um, social issues. Yes, mm. not is there, is there is sciencey stuff. Yes, yes. This is very social issues. I don't mind. Cool. I've seen the Keanu Reeves version. Why is that Nicole Kidman as well? Because I was a kid when it came out. Um, I don't know. I think it was Naomi Watts. No. Cool. Oh, yeah. Naomi Watts it was, yeah. Wrong, wrong Aussie. At least it's a better one. Yeah, no, I don't think you? it's... Yeah, I, I don't think it's the same sort of issue. Okay. I don't remember anything. Well, I, anything. I don't think... I don't, actually, I don't know what happens in the Keanu Reeves Does he say, I know Kung Fu? <laughs> I, I know that there's a giant silver man yeah. with a Cyclops fucking... Yes. Clutchy. Yeah. That's all I remember. No. It's not, no, it's not calling you Bork, that. Orc. Klaatu is the alien's name. Okay. Spoiler. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this is... I remember watching it as a kid just randomly on TV on yeah. one a Saturday night? A Sunday? No. One night. Yeah. Nice. On TV. Regular TV. Maybe on ABC. Anyway. It was good. I, I, I liked it. And it was, I was a kid and it was a black yeah. and white movie and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really yeah, liked yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I think that wraps us up for this week. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe. Give us a review. We will be back here uh, next week with some more quality content for you. Are we going to change it up this week, are we? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I just keep saying yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.